Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Arsenal FC's Road to Redemption series. This is Freestyle. We're coming off a tough 1-1 draw against Birmingham City, and we've got a short week this week. we got a game up against Nottingham Forest next, followed by a game against Middlesbrough in two days. Luckily after that, we got a nice long layoff until the end of the month where we play the Blackburn Rovers. Looking at the table, Arsenal's got a one-point lead over Leeds. Leeds has won a couple of games in a row and has really climbed back up that ladder. Winning this game is very important to keep us on top of the table. All right. Welcome to you all. Here we I'm go. Tyler, Forest Alan Park Smith Stadium in the rain. We'll try not to make any a lot of my players retired, so I had to make a lot of changes. Man is starting for Nketi up front. Mito is starting for Mamapanas, and Osetetu is starting for Jenkinson. I had to put Emil Smith Rowe out left to start over Saka, and Frioinsen is starting in the camp position. So this is going to be a difficult game, I think. I don't have everybody I need, so. The best of games, and uh, I'm hoping for better here. here. I mean, that 1 1 draw, it could have been so much more. Why Nottingham Forest are going to go into this match? Nottingham Forest going down the sideline well, real we quick. Think, Alan, it'll be a four, five, Great defense by Jose Tetu, though. Early we'll corner here for Forest. Nottingham man. Forest. Let's have a look oh. at how the opposing team will line Barely up today. missed the net there. And that will be a corner. Did it get saved? What happened here? That was saved by Matt Macy. What a save. Freoinson making a run. What a pass by Emil Smith Rowe to Freoinson. Who fires it? Goal. There we Off go. The Off the post and in. Freoinson starting today. Starts off with a bang. What a counter attack. That was perhaps Look at the that. Place where Beautiful it was pass. To save it. Freoinson. No, uh, One touch. The Ooh. Post on the way Off the yeah, post really and in. He took it early. Oh, what a start. There we go. On team on the Let's get back into position. Man, I cannot get this ball no off these guys. How did that ball get across? Just too high with the header. Yeah, unlucky. Good oh. Nelson, Nelson over to Freeinson. With the cross to man. Terrible header. <laughs> <We've> <laughs> it just kind of... You could head it much, much better than this one. Well, you well to That's got to be a foul, right? Thank you. Get something here. Nottingham Force is doing a really good job clogging up that middle. Oh! What the heck? Jakob. Nottingham Force with a shot. What a save Fine by save Matt Macy. Right Asking Emil Smith Rowe to run. Who does? Man! They're just closing in so fast that like the second the ball hits my foot, they close in. What a shot. Fantastic a save. I thought I blocked save. that. Great save. Ooh, I should have caught that. Great. I mean, it wasn't a good shot. I got to be honest. It was, it was not a good shot at all. Nottingham Force putting on nothing but pressure. Hey, hey, no. That's cheap. Bramall hits Emil Smith throw down the sideline. Could get the ball into the box now. Across to Nelson. And here's the shot. Fires it in. Okay, if I was Nottingham Forest, I'd be livid right now. Because I've had two shots and they've both gone in. They've had countless opportunities and haven't scored yet. So if I was Nottingham Forest, I'd be so mad. But I'm not. I'm Arsenal. I'm super happy. <laughs> Nice little pass. Finds Reese Nelson who rockets it in with the whip. Whip. So it was a pretty good first half. Arsenal up 2-0. Can't complain about that. I had to make all my subs. So Gilmore, Howison, and Arias are in for the midfield players. Because again, I got a game in two days. So I need to rest up as much as I can. Reese Nelson hits up to Howison. Arias making a run. Arias. Pass across. Oh, how did I miss the net? How did I miss the net? Oh, it was deflected. Oh, that was a wasted opportunity. Anyway, short corner. Nobody making the run that I like to see. So let's play it back to Reese Nelson, who now crosses it. Can't find anybody. But that's okay. Arsenal have had possession for the entire second half so far. 
is successful when they'll Howie see Sin the sends it in. Pass. Ooh, good interception. I haven't been able to get the ball in to man at all. But Arsenal still with the possession. Just going to control the ball, looking for my shot. Arias. There it is. Oh, there it is. Finally got a ball up to Man, who made a beautiful pass over to Howison, or sorry, to Arias, who made no mistake. What a great shot by Arias. Look at that. Made no mistake. Back of the net. 3-0. That second half domination finally pays off. Arsenal win it again. This attack. Over to Arias. Arias. To Howie Sin. Feeds it into Man, who can't get the shot off. Shot and then Howie Sin hits the defender. Well. Good defense. That. Bit lucky. It was deflected. Good defense. Couldn't get the shot off there. All right, let's play the short corner. Reese Nelson. Short corner. Out. <laughs> what a terrible touch that was. But we keep the ball. It has been... Arsenal has been controlling the second half. Howison finds Gilmore. Out to Neil Smith Rowe. Has been very one Back to Howison. To Arias. Ooh. Nottingham Forest looking to make a final run. Trying to get something. But they're not going to be able to. Alright. I'm just going to play for the clean sheet here. Not make any mistakes. Just kill the clock. Osa Tattoo back. There we go. Great win by Arsenal. If I was not in Forest, I'd be livid. They had all the great opportunities in the first half. I got all the goals. And then the second half, I completely controlled it. They couldn't get a hold of the ball. Hey, Pele. I just noticed there's a guy on their team named Pele. That's hilarious. Anyways, 3 0 victory. Finally got a clean sheet. Great game. Super happy. Look at that domination. The shots are pretty much even, but the possession, 62% possession by Arsenal. Wow. That was a wonderful game. A 3-0 victory on the road, giving us a nice four-point cushion over Leeds United in the table. Leeds hasn't played their game yet, so it's probably gonna they're probably going to win. It's going to probably go back down to one game, but the win was huge. The clean sheet even better. Just before I start the next game, I want to take a quick look at my player contracts. I noticed that there's a few players that are at the end of their contracts. Now, Plexula is a tough one because, like I said, I want Zach Medley to start going forward. But letting him go for free kind of sucks. <laughs> but that's a lot of money to sign this guy. You know what? I'm going to leave this for now. I'm hoping somebody in the comments will give me a feedback as to whether or not I should keep this player or not. Because like I said, I want Zach Medley to be my starter going forward because he's 6'5". And Plexula is only 5'11". The Brown one one's an easy decision. He's my starting left back and Declan Rose isn't quite there yet. So we're going to re-sign him. So this Ilyev guy was a free agent I signed to fill in the thing. I'm going to let him go. Same with Howie Sin. Any of the free agents I signed to just fill out my roster before the league started, uh, before the game started, I'm not going to re-sign them. And I think that even goes for a super sub for Joinson. I might, once his contract runs out, I might just let him go. But we'll see how that progresses. Charlie Gilmore, Youth Academy player, I'm going to re-sign this guy. So all that's left is, it's just Plexula. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. I'm just going to leave this as is because I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. I mentioned before how Eddie Nketiah is leading my team with 15 goals and 7 assists. Here's the crazy thing. Joe Willick is tied with him for assists. Ever since he took over the starting position with the departure of Ainsley Maitland and Isles, he's come through big. Seven assists. Huge. All right. We got Middlesbrough up next and then a much needed two week rest before we play Blackburn Rovers. Let's get it. At home, in the rain, of course, against Middlesbrough. Hello once again. I'm Martin My lineup Tyler, is super is tired. I had to make some changes, obviously. Macau starting for Reese Nelson. Um, Declan Rose and Medley starting for Bramall and Plexula. The tough decision was that Emil Smith Rowe is super tired, but I have to keep him starting because I don't have anybody that can replace him who isn't also tired. So my plan is to run Emil Smith Rowe for the first half and then just sub him out. 
all the way across to Carl Jenkinson. We'll who puts in a cross to Emil Smith Rowe. What a save! Kind of save. It just goes straight through. Jenkinson it does. And, to uh, Bielik. Shots on here. Top bin. Top of bin, quick start for Arsenal here, and Bielik with a beautiful to goal, top in. Nice little pass to Jenkinson, who gave it to Willick, who gave it to Bielik. Nice little whip to get around the defenders. Yeah, Willick with his eighth assist. Team leading eighth assist, Willick has been fantastic, and what whip. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that. But I'm a wonderful manager to work for. What is this commentator now? saying? Arsenal How dare you? Then. Maximilian Trudeau is loved by everyone. Just Who finds McCowan making the run. Anything. Puts Chelsea a nice little cross in to Neil Smith Rowe. Can't well, reach it with his header. Who sees Willick making a move. With that a nice shot. Oh! A real go. A effort, that. Declan Rose to Bielik. To Willick. A with a shot. Misses the net. Willick wins the ball back though. Enketia finds Emil Smith Rowe. Nice little now. skill move, but can't Close get the corner. shot through. Emil Smith Rowe to, to Bielik. Ooh, tried there to find Enketia, but are. great steal. Yeah, Bielik recovers though. Saka really to Emil Smith Rowe to Willick, who took way too much time on that ball. But wins it back. Again, this Arsenal midfield intervene. really getting a bunch of steals here. Not giving oh, Middlesbrough so. any passing lanes. And Ketie to Emil Smith Rowe, really who tries to beat his defender but can't. The opposition have free possession. Good defense. Really come at you. It's risky. Arsenal still controlling the ball, though. Willick to Emil Smith Rowe, who can't control the ball and gets off a terrible shot. Steal, and Katier over the net. At least we gave some fan a souvenir. <laughs> All right, pretty good first half. We got a nice goal, had a bunch of great opportunities. Middlesbrough has had nothing, so feeling pretty good. Started the second half, had to make second all three of my subs. Romario came in at Cam. He can play that position as well as right wing, so that's why he's there for Emil Smith Rowe. Freyoinson and Davies have come in at the other midfield spots Careless to give there. Bielik and a Willick a rest. Davies back to Freyoinson, who sees in Ketier, who yeah, screws it up. Decent opportunity there. But if swings it, to Declan Rose. It well. I think get through easily. Who finds McCowett the off the post, off the, bar. Back into off play. the crossbar? Man, well, I've come so close to that second goal, and I just can't get it in the net. Davies or Saka making a run, and Enketia finds him with a beautiful lead pass. Saka going for it. Oh, what happened there? Like. The dude's leg fully clips mine as I'm trying to shoot, and I can't get the shot off. <laughs> That's cheap. Maybe not a pen, but I don't know. That was I, I think that's pretty cheap. With a cross to Enketier. Oh! <laughs> Looks like they've got something here. They've got me here. They've got a nice little cross opportunity. I screwed that up. Why did I pass that and not clear it? Oh no. This might be an opportunity to get level. But uh, Man. get the ball, they moved it forward really quickly. They were, they were that was so down. stupid by me. Yeah. What a level. way to lose the Both clean sheet. I am so bummed. Again, completely my mistake to Freyoinson. Back to Romero, who hits Davies with a shot. Oh what a save! Over to Romero. Across to Jenkinson, who feeds McCowitt. Saka. To Enketie. Terrible header. Well, Somehow the ball lands to Romario. Who does that? Oh, I can't believe I let them tie me. And they're going to get away with a draw. All because of my own stupidity. All right. Let's see if we can get one more nice attack. To Enketier. The there we go. Goal. The lead. They 
great interception there. Look at that beautiful pass. One time. Eddie in Ketier. Love it. Well, there's the final whistle. Arsenal have won it. Whew. Thank goodness. I was going to be really upset if I ended up with a draw after that stupid mistake I made. Romero with a wonderful steal. Fantastic pass in Ketier, who just. Makes no mistake this time. Four shots. Finally got one in. He hoofed one into the stands previously, so putting one in the back of that feels good. Take a look at this. 63% possession. That's the second game in a row where I've dominated possession. 15 shots, eight of which are on target, and they went 1-1-1 one, one, and one because of my mistake, but that was a great last-minute win. I dominated the entire game, but made a stupid mistake to allow them back into it. Luckily, I was able to finish it off. And Kete got his league-leading 16th goal. Arsenal still on top of the table with 83 points. Leeds United not too far behind, but Stoke City starting to drop down a bit. So this is going to be a tight finish, it looks like. So as we were simming through the international break, I noticed that a youth player wants out. Sam Lee wants out of his youth contract. So, so Sam Lee was a right back. He isn't the best prospect. His potential is only 82. His overall is only a 57. But you know what? We're going to we're going to just sign him. Normally I wouldn't. His potential isn't that great. But I need as many players that are youth academy created as possible to replace any of the free agents that I had to sign to fill up my roster. So I just need players in my roster. So we'll promote this guy. Now, just because he's not a great player doesn't mean we don't fix the way he looks. Obviously, we can't have the default shoes and the shirt tucked in stuff, so let's get that fixed before anything else. We're also going to change his number. He took Maitland Niles as number 15. You got to earn that number, sir. I'm sorry. Simple, elegant, beautiful. And then we're going to go in here. You got to earn the number 15. Let's give him 22. Although he's not highly rated, it doesn't have a high potential, his attacking and defensive work rate are both high, which is huge for a right back. Not just that, but he can also play left back. Even though he doesn't have a great potential, he might actually end up being a really good player. Um, if anything, just coming off the bench as a, you know, as a backup. Another youth player wants out, Liam Kelly. I believe that's the left back. <laughs> yeah, Liam Kelly. There he is. Pretty much identical to Sam Lee. Overall is a 58. I think uh, Sam Lee was 57. Potential is the exact same, 76 to 82. We'll promote him. Again, we just need players, so we'll promote him. Liam Kelly. So just like Sam Lee, he can play both wing back positions, which is huge. He's got a high, high work rate. Huge. Four-star weak foot. This is fantastic because, again, as a left-footed player, if he's playing right back, he's got four-star and weak foot. Again, got to admit, I'm pretty happy with this player. His put, Again, potential not great, but high, high, four-star weak foot. Can play both wing-back positions. You can't have number 15. You got to earn that. We'll give him number 21. And then, of course, we're going to change his look. After playing three games in seven days, we got a nice two-week break. And here we are up against Blackburn Rovers. We play at home, which is great. Leeds United won their game so now they're only just one point behind me but Stoke seems to be falling off they're down to 71 points so it looks like it might be a battle between Arsenal and Leeds here we are at beautiful Emirates Stadium Hi, up against Welcome Blackburn Rovers this is another North one of those teams that I enjoy I'm playing with and Bolton and Blackburn Rovers striker, are two of my favorite Alex. career modes to do uh, along with Morecambe those are the three teams that I kind of always run through Black so this is another one of those personal games for me. This is the lineup for the home side. No change to my starting lineup. After that home success, and here we go. Yeah, it was quite close, that 2-1 victory, but uh, they just edged. Oh, what the heck happened there? Where's Jenkinson? What the heck? What happened there? Bit of space for oh him. no! Now out on the wing. Oh, he good play by Matt Macy. Great save. How's he done that? It's a fantastic save. Wow, that really turned on me quick. Get no doubt about up that. to Inketier, so who sends Emil Smith to Rowe to Reese Nelson. Off the crossbar. He was offside. Who feeds Reese Nelson? 
Cuts back in. To Nketiah. Mm, bad shot. Finds Reese Nelson down the sideline. Who charges in. Plays it back to Emil Smith Rowe. Another block shot. Sees Nketiah making a wonderful run in. Emil Smith Rowe finds Willick. Back of the net. Great pass from Emil Smith Rowe to Willick, who puts a little whip. All right, that was a good first half, and here we are with the second half. Blackburn Rovers with the ball, looking to tie it up. But quick interception by Marver Panas, and Arsenal mount their attack again. Bielik to Emil Smith Rowe. Top corner. There we go. Got a little bit of that whip. Not as pronounced as Willix, just a little whip on it. 12 goals for Emil Smith Rowe. Willick and Bielik have been amazing. They've been an amazing partnership between the steals, just like that one, and the assists and goals. Man. What Just a great partnership they've turned out to be. Coverage. Over to Bielik. To Saka. Top bin. What a rocket. Goalie had no chance. I don't know how I got the ball up that high that quick. Actually, I do because half the time the ball goes over the net from that short. But really on their game So today. we made our three-man sub in the middle. Gilmore, Davies, Freelinson come in for our midfielders. And Kete with the win, well, finds Saka down the sideline, who's got lots of room the across to Freyoinsen. Oh, what a save by the goalie! Gilmore with the ball, sees Nketiah making a run, and hits him. Cuts it back. What a goal, baby! What a goal! Adding to Blackburn's misery. Down 4 0 now. Look at this. Beautiful really cutback and just short corners of no League leading 17th goal, Ed Inketier. Rodwell. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. 4 0 Arsenal. Manhandle Blackburn Rovers there. Bielik, second game in a row where he's man of the match. He had two assists this game. Bielik has really turned it around. He started off shaky for me, but the last few games he's assisted on a couple of goals. He's intercepted a lot of passes in the midfield, so he's really turning it up. That was a great 4-0 victory for Arsenal at home over Blackburn Rovers. But as you can see, Leeds United beat Millwall 3-1, so the gap for first place is still just one point. Tune in next episode as we start off the month with a youth scouting report followed by games against Sheffield Wednesday, Rotterdam, and Bristol City. That's it for this episode of Arsenal's Road to Redemption. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe, tap that notification bell so that we can keep this train going. This is Freestyle signing off. Peace. Peace.